undress. Let's get real. She must be crazy. She must be insane. That shaved head, those tattoos, those facial piercings. She can't be like us. She does have mental illnesses. She must deserve it. This must be her karma. What has she done to deserve all this? Her reasonings for getting her tattoo must be some sort of self-deprecation, some sort of self-humiliation. She must feel as though she deserves this. For she speaks openly about her depression and her anxiety. The thoughts that rumble and twist and wind through her mind. She sees that she is insane, no? She knows her weaknesses. She knows her strengths. Her mental illnesses are both. They strengthen her in her truth. They weaken her reality at times. But she knows that she is not them. They are a part of her. They are in her. They are with her at all times. They are in her head. They are in her arms. In her gut. In her butt. In her feet. In her face. In her realms. In all the dimensions of who she is. She knows they are there. But her greatest strength is that she knows she is not being punished. She is being tested by karma, by the universe, by herself. Her mental illnesses, they are multidimensional, they are multi-purposed. They test her, they are with her, they antagonize and aggravate her. They tell her that she should do things she knows she shouldn't. They tell her she shouldn't do things that she's always dreamed of doing. What does she do? Does she stop? Or does she survive? Does she cope? Does she evolve? Karma is there, but she is not the punisher that she is made out to be. She is there watching, waiting, and secretly encouraging her to be the strength that she is. No, the strength is not just inside of her. It doesn't just lie there. She defines the strength, her strength. She is strength. And therefore, her mental illnesses are not her karma. Because karma wouldn't assign her such. She doesn't know all the answers. She doesn't have all the answers. She looks for them. She doesn't really hope for them. But she looks. Because she wants to be the enlightened evolution of who she truly is. This is just a manifestation, an outward understanding of what no one can see on the inside. She senses it and she gets glimpses of it. Her and Karma kind of have this funny relationship. They talk and she used to think she was being punished but now she knows that isn't true and you should know that too. My mental illnesses are not my karma. Your mental illnesses are not your karma. They are mental illnesses. And karma is karma. <laughs>